The opinions and views expressed in Political Talk belong to its commentators and are not those of Next Star Media Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. Welcome to Political Talk with Democratic commentator Dora Lee and Republican commentator Tom Santoli. The evacuation of Afghanistan continues with thousands being airlifted out of the capital city of Kabul each day as the Taliban solidifies its hold on that country. President Joe Biden stands by the decision to withdraw U.S. service members from Afghanistan, speaking with George Stephanopoulos in an interview airing on Good Morning America today. There is no good time to leave Afghanistan. The president says he believes the chaos on the ground was unavoidable. But was it? Despite the fact that I think that most people were ready to get out, thought we should leave, the way the president handled this was a complete disaster. I mean, to me, he made one of the worst foreign policy decisions in the 72 years I've been on this earth. All I know is what I read and what I see, that the uh, Pentagon and the State Department told him it wasn't a good idea just to go in there and abruptly leave. Bad, bad decision. But he made the decision that hey, no one's going to tell me what to do. We're going to do it anyway. And, and think about what happened. This mess starts. We go in there. We're going to trust the Taliban. You know, they're going to. He was asked, "Will the Taliban? Won't the Taliban take over Kabul airport as soon as the, you get ready to leave the military?" Oh no, that'll never happen. Well, of course, it did happen. Listen, I think the president got out there too far. He did, he still hasn't taken any questions. Uh, I think he could care less about the Afghan people. I just think that he just wants to get out. But, you know, God forbid for those poor women over there and what they're going to go through. I mean, today he said, thank God nobody was killed. At least nobody told me anybody was. Well, there is 10 or 12 people who have been killed so far. He didn't know it. I mean, what do they tell this guy? I think that this tragedy is much bigger than what happened uh, in the last couple of days. This is a result of, you know, two decades of failed policy in the Middle East and Afghanistan in particular. Four presidents have tried to tackle uh, the problems in Afghanistan, and unfortunately, Biden is the one that is holding the, the bomb that exploded. President Biden has firmly stood behind his decision. I don't think there is anyone in Washington that thinks that he handled this well, that his administration did. I think this should be both a wake-up call and a call to action. Uh, first, a wake-up call in that we keep making the same foreign policy mistakes. We go into a nation trying to impose our, our, our culture, our views, and our notions of political structures, and it just doesn't fit. It didn't fit here. Uh, there was no uh, real attempt in two decades to have the Afghan military and government work together to get the nation on its own. It's certainly, certainly in a, a tragic humanitarian crisis right now, and this administration Everything is riding on this, making it right. And if they don't, it's going to be tragic. That will do it for this edition of Political Talk. For this edition and past episodes, simply log on to our website, mytwintears.com. I'm Zach Wheeler, and we'll be right back.